Hey, Terrell, welcome to Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for taking the time today. We'll get started here with Chris Franklin and then Dave Zangaro. Hey, Terrell, welcome to Philly, man. Um, first off, I wanted to ask, you spent five years seasons with the Steelers. How close were you to returning there, and what drew you to sign with the Eagles? Man, yeah, I had uh, five great seasons with the Steelers. Uh, met some great teammates, great coaches, great culture over there. Uh, but, you know, just when I came over here and I spoke to all of the coaching staff, when I talked to some of the guys on the Philly team, uh, it just really brought me into it, and now I'm bought in, and I'm just ready to work. I'm ready to come here and just give everything I got. We'll go to Dave and then John McMullen. Hey, Terrell, welcome. Uh, what about those conversations drew you to Philly? Was it football or, or not football? Uh, it was football. It started off football, and then it got to knowing the real person, uh, you know, just talking and learning about the culture of Philadelphia, about the Eagles and everything that the Eagles stand on. I think that's something that really I fell in love with, uh, you know, just going out there, just having that dog mentality, just putting everything out there on the line for the person beside you and just playing together as one. I think that's something that really drove me to come here. We'll go to John and then Josh Tolentino. Hey, Terrell, congrats again. Um, uh, you you kind of lined up all over the place in, in Pittsburgh. Uh, how would you describe yourself as a player? What, what, what do you excel in? Um, how would you um, – Describe yourself to the fan base. I definitely say I'm a versatile player, uh, someone that's just going to go out there and, and give everything I got in whatever position that the coach puts me in. So wherever they need me to go, I'm just going to go out there and give 110 uh, percent. Again, I'm just ready to work now. I'm just excited. Uh, I'm ready to go out there and just put on for Philly. Go ahead, Josh, and then Tim McManus. Hey, Terrell, good to meet you, man. Uh, what do you think about the uh, opportunity to uh, team up with uh, specifically the guys at cornerback, you know, like Darius Slay, James Bradbury, uh, Vontae Maddox, to be uh, team up, teammates with now. Man, you know, it always makes the safety's job easy when you have two lockdown corners. Uh, you got Slay on one side, Bradbury on the other side, and then you got to talk about the D-line and the culture from just the team in general. Uh, man, it's just hard-nosed football. Is guys is going to go out there and just put everything, guys that's been in positions to make big plays that have made big plays, and, you know, just having guys on the outside at the corner position, uh, specifically, uh, this is going to make everyone else's job easier. And, and if I could follow up uh, really quick, uh, you know, obviously the, the Steelers just played the Eagles this past season. Uh, what do you remember about that game and, you know, seeing the, the specifically, I guess, the defense on the field whenever you're on the sideline? Man, uh, Philly had an exciting defense all year. Uh, yeah, when you guys played against us, it wasn't our, our best day uh, being with the Steelers, but as you can see, just Philly's defense in general, it was just exciting to watch. Every game, even the Super Bowl game, everything was just so exciting just to watch them go out there and really go at it. And you could tell that people were passionate. You could tell that people loved the game. And that's just something that I wanted to buy into. Go ahead, Tim, and then Zach Berman. To Terrell, through your conversations, what, what's your understanding of the type of defense that uh, Sean Desai wants to run and, and kind of how you fit into it? I just, you know, just stay versatile, stay playing as myself, stay trying to put everything out there in whatever hat he gives me. Uh, that's, that's just the whole conversation that we had, really. Uh, just that wherever he puts me, just go out there and give 110%. And that's something that I bought into and I told him he has my word with. Go ahead, Zach, and then Bo Wolf. Hey, Terrell, congratulations. I recall speaking to you last year at, at Devontae softball <laughs> a game. Did, did that day give you a chance to get to know any of your uh, new teammates and have you guys kept in touch at all? Yeah, we definitely kept in touch, mostly on social media. But, yeah, that day you could just tell how close they really were. It wasn't just I'm your teammate and then I go home. Uh, the, those guys out there at the softball game, even though they tried to stack their team, uh, they just had a good time out there just playing together. And you could just tell that they were competitive. And that's something that you want in any team, people that want, love to go out there and compete, love to go out there and work and get each other better. As a quick follow-up, if you play this year, does that put you now on Devontae's team as opposed to the other guys? I guess so. I guess so. Now I'm in Philly. I guess it puts me on the home team now. Go ahead, Bob. Terrell, how did, how did this um, year of free agency compare to last year for you? And, and were there other options that you were you know, close, to, close to considering? I was, it was very similar, uh, similar all seasons. But, you know, now, now that I have a home base, now that I'm an eagle, man, it's, all of that stuff is behind me, honestly. And now it's time to just go out there and put everything out there that I can for this team. And 
I keep on saying that because I'm so excited just to be an Eagle now and everything seem unreal to be on a different team, but let's go to work now. We'll go back to Dave. Hey, Toronto, I'm just curious, being a first-round pick, how you dealt with that early in your career that obviously comes with high expectations, a lot of pressure. How did you personally deal with all that? I think it has to go back to something that my parents taught me about just keep on going. Uh, sometimes you, there's nothing else to say. You just have to put your head down, keep on working, keep on building, uh, because a lot of people, they may can't get over adversity. But sometimes you just got to keep on pushing and have that never quit mentality. And I think that's something that we pride ourselves on as a family. Hey, nice meeting you, too. Go ahead, John. Uh, Terrell, uh, how, how quick did this come together with the Eagles? Were you guys talking for a while, or was it just uh, pretty quick? Uh, we had some conversations, and then uh, there was really just, was I going to come or was I not going to come? And uh, I'm blessed with this opportunity. I'm thankful for this opportunity. And now that uh, we both had a group, uh, agreed on mutual terms, now we can go out there and make something happen. Go ahead, Zach, and then Chris. Hey, Terrell, after five years and, and 5,000 snaps, players kind of are viewed as what they are. But what's the next step of your game, if there is one? Uh, I guess the next step, you can say, is just being an eagle. Uh, all, near, all old narratives uh, can change in now because you're in a new spot. Uh, you're in a new spot. you got a chance to make a new impression. you got a chance to go out there and put everything out there and really buy into the culture and go out there with new teammates and do whatever you have to do. And I think that's just something, just give everything I can to the Eagles organization, be very thankful for this opportunity, and not let anyone down. Go ahead, Chris. You're going, hey, uh, you're going against uh, your brother Tremaine a couple times beforehand, mm -hmm. mostly in that way. It looks like you guys are now going to be playing again, again this year. What's it like to go up against them, and, and how much have you guys helped each other out during your careers? Man, we help each other out all the time. Uh, that's him and my older brother. We're workout partners in the all season. We always around each other in the offseason. We play cards together, keep the competitive juices rolling, and being able to play against them. These last few years haven't been so good because, you know, we only won one time. So he had the bragging rights from the family. But hopefully we can change that now and really go out there and get up to him. Anything else for Terrell? No? All right, thanks for the time, Terrell. Thank you.